Hello and welcome to this video. I'll be showing you how to try out a Microsoft software product. Microsoft lets you try out a lot of their software products for a limited period of time, for example, 30 days or more. However, before you can try out some of the products, you will need to have either a work related email address or a school related email address. If you are not in school or if you're not working or if you don't want to use your work or your school email address, I will show you how to get around that in this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up to try a Microsoft software product. The product is called Office 365 and we're going to be trying the Business Premium Edition. The link to the sign up page is displayed on the screen. So this is the sign up page to try out Office 365 Business Premium. Now there are some steps you need to go through, four steps for you to be able to sign up to use the software. So we'll start from step number one. So we have to set up an account. So you enter your email address. You can see here is asking for your work or school email address. So don't worry about that. We just enter any email address you currently have just enter it in this space. So I have entered some details. I've added a first name, a last name. I've added a phone number. I've added a company name. You can add any name. If you don't have a company name, just add your name. That should be fine. Or just add any imaginary company name. And then you need to select your company size. So in this drop down here, you can just select anything. If it's one person, just select one person. I'm just going to select one person. And then obviously make sure your country region is selected. Once you've got that in, click on the next button. And that will present you with step number two. Step number two here is saying, tell us about yourself. So here, Microsoft is going to send you a verification to the number that you supplied in the previous step. So if you click send verification code, it will send it to the number you provided. So I'm going to click send verification and I will wait for it to arrive. So you should receive a six digit verification code. So enter that in here. And once you've done that, click on verify and it will move on to the next step, which is create your business identity. So what's going to happen in this step is that it's going to create a business email address for you that you can use to interact with this software. And also you can use that email address is going to generate here to try out other Microsoft related products that requires a business email address. So here on the, your company name, I'm just going to type in to be my company name dot on Microsoft.com. So I'm going to click to check the availability, just to make sure the name is free. Um, you can see here, it says the name is free blue line learning solutions dot on Microsoft.com. So this now becomes my business email address. I can use this email address to try out other Microsoft related products that requires a business email address. So let's move on to the final step. Click which is get office. So click next. And then here is asking you to create your business identity. So now we have to create a user ID and password to sign in to the account created. So notice here it's got the business email address that was just generated in the previous step. So I'm just going to add a name. I'm going to say to be Rick at Blue Lime Learning Solutions dot on Microsoft. 
So I'm going to create a password and also confirm the password. So once you've added a password and confirmed it on the bottom here, there's some marketing stuff here. You can uncheck it if you wish to, if you don't want to receive any emails, also just uncheck it. I, for me, I'm going to leave the email bit checked so that I can get email updates from them. Once you've done that, just click on sign up. And if your password is correct, or if they match, it should sign you up to the office 365 business premium edition. So if you look on this site here, it tells you that the trials, you have 25 licenses for a 30 day free trial. So you can share this um, with 25 people for 30 days. It tells you you've got one TB of cloud storage, online versions of Office, Office on tablets and so on. So basically these are all the software that you are going to get with the sign up. Now, this is very important here, this bit here. So it's telling you this, it's telling you here to save this information that you will need it later to set up your 365 Office Business Premium. So this is the link that you need to sign into the office.com portal. When you sign in there, then you can do your setup. And this is your user ID that you are going to use. This is my user ID. So your user ID will show up there. So that is it. We have now signed up to a Microsoft product. I will, I don't want to go into the setup now. I can do that later by just going to this link that was provided to me. I'll sign in there and then I can proceed with the setup of Office 365. The important thing here is that I now have a business email address, which is this one here, that I can use to try out other Microsoft related products. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.